Oh, ho, 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 boy. <laughs> it's already like May's over, guys. We're almost halfway through this year. What is going on? Do you guys feel like last year crawled by, but this year is like flying by? Because that's certainly how I'm feeling. But we have a new crop of favorites this month that I wanted to talk about. And I try not to repeat myself in like favorites videos. I always go back the past few favorites videos and double check that I'm not trying to talk about the same thing over and over again. But it is worth sharing with you guys that every time I sit down to kind of create my list for this video, like, okay, what have I been loving and using a ton this month? There are always four or five things I'm trying to talk about that I've already talked about. So the favorites that I mentioned continue to be favorites. I, that probably goes without saying, but I did want to mention it because I always have new exciting things to talk about, but that doesn't mean that the things I've been loving aren't still favorites because they are and they're always things that I'm constantly trying to talk about again and again and again. So here we are in the height of like allergy season. <laughs> I've got in front of me my allergy nasal spray. <laughs> I've got my allergy eye drops. Side note, the brand Zatador. My sister told me about this for allergy eye drops. I have tried so many. This is the best I've ever tried. So if you have like itchy, red, watery eyes during allergy season, see if you can find the Zatador brand. It's not prescription or anything. You can just get it at the regular drugstore. Incredible. Okay. Anyway, that has nothing. That's not a favorite, but it's basically a favorite. <laughs> it's just right in front of me. Also, all I can smell in the air around me is this air spun powder. I set my face with it and everything smells like it right now. It's like this stuff that's been around for like since the, I don't know, 50s. I have no idea how long it's been around. It works well though. I set my under eye in my T-zone and it really does, but boy, oh boy, the smell. All right, so let's just go. This is gonna be a hodgepodge. I'm not gonna go in any order. I wanna talk about my favorite deodorant. <laughs> It's a men's deodorant, all right? I know a lot of us use the Old Spice men's deodorant because it smells really good. And I think they know that now. So lately I've been using the Old Spice Wilderness with Lavender. This is a very loved deodorant, at least in the YouTube world. So it's just deodorant. It doesn't have the antiperspirant, like anti-sweating qualities to it, but that also means it doesn't have aluminum in it. So if you were trying to find one without it, this would work and I love it, it works really well. I apply it in the morning. I don't smell myself throughout the day and I don't mind sweating so much so I don't feel like I'm missing that. This would not work for you though if you're looking for that. But they do have the deodorant antiperspirant combination ones in, in this scent so you can find it. Anyway, that was a lot of time to talk about deodorant but it just smells so good. Lavendery but still kind of sweet. Quite frankly, even the packaging's pretty so I don't care that it's men's deodorant. So a skincare product I think I talked about in a recent vlog here on my channel is this Good Molecules Pure Cold Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil. This is one of my favorite skincare products but you can get it from here. You can get a little more bang for your buck from The Ordinary but my problem with The Ordinary is the packaging always breaks. So you're getting what you pay for packaging wise but the product itself is so good. And then there's also like expensive versions. Trilogy makes a really nice one that I like, but it's very expensive. So this was my first time trying the one from Good Molecules and I love it because I just get a little bit of the oil like between my hands, just a couple drops. I literally do this and I just press it onto my skin. And you guys, it hydrates, it evens my skin tone, like it just does so much. And rosehip seed oil is also known to help with anti-aging. So it's just a powerhouse. So I really like this one, but I also really like the ordinary one. It's just that packaging issue. So I could see myself buying the ordinary one again, but if I were to ever travel with it, I just can't because I don't, I don't trust the packaging of it. You know what I mean? I don't think I've mentioned this in a favorites, but I've been wearing it like every day in my brows. It's the Benefit Gimme Brow. The packaging kind of like wore off really weird on it and really fast. Like this is not that old, but I wear the shade 4.5. So my tip for this is to wipe every single thing off of the spoolie before you even touch it to your brows. Um, and another tip I learned from you guys is that I was having a problem getting too much product here in this inner part where I didn't really want there to be a ton of product. So to start kind of in this outer area, do both outer areas, then take the spoolie and do the inner part so it's a little bit less pigmented and it has worked perfectly. So I did just recently order the Boy Brow from Glossier, which I haven't tried in years. And I'm curious to try that again and kind of compare these two because they're very, very, the idea of them is the same. They're similar products. So I'll have to report back on how those kind of compare, you know. By the way, I put a little highlight on my like shoulders and stuff. I use, this is a highlighter I forget I own, the Milk Flex Highlighter in Lit. It's like, it's a crazy highlighter, but it works really well for like a little bit of a body highlight, which is like a little brush. 
Just saying. I haven't used this on my face in a while though because I remember it being too much. So I'll have to try it again, but not today, not today. <laughs> Makes me think of my two year old. When she doesn't want to do something right in that moment, she'll get upset and she'll say, not today, not today. And everything for her right now is so life and death. Like it's just amazing. Another beauty favorite is this Shiseido concealer. I've loved this for so long and I lost it. For months and months and months I couldn't find it. And finally it appeared in a makeup bag I hadn't used in a long time. I'm like, oh my gosh. So it's their Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. I wear it in 103. It is one of those concealers that you can put on your under eye and I'll let it sink in. I'll use a brush to kind of blend it in. And then after like four or five minutes, you know, I'm doing the rest of my makeup, I can take my fingers and just tap it in and it sinks into the skin so beautifully. And what's nice is, you know, any concealer I've ever tried is gonna sink into my fine lines. Like it's just natural, we have fine lines. But this is a magical one that four or five hours into my day, I can look in the mirror and just kind of take my fingers and tap it in and it kind of refreshes itself. Hence the name Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. It really does. And I just, I love that. This is totally something I'm gonna repurchase. It is one of the few concealers I've tried in my life that I feel so strongly about that it actually does what it says and I just love it. It's expensive, but y'all, it is. If you've been like trying concealer after concealer and being unhappy, you really should try this one. And the bottle looks like it doesn't come with very much. 5.8 milliliters, how much does like other concealer come with? Yeah, it's not much less. So like this hourglass one comes with six milliliters. So they're like, it's virtually the same size. It just looks like it doesn't have as much product. Okay, another favorite is what I'm wearing on my eyes, the eyeshadow. This is the ColourPop Quad and Cream Soda. They have a whole bunch of these they released. I did a trying new drugstore makeup video a few weeks ago where I tried this and another one of their quads. I can link in the eye and down below if you wanna see it more in action. But today I just did a really simple look. I used this shimmer here all over the lid and then this in the crease. And then I was gonna leave it at that, but then I decided to put a little bit of this deeper brown, it's not that deep, but this medium brown in the outer corner. This shade here is gorgeous. Like it's just one of those things that it's so easy. And if you're doing your makeup fast and you just want a nice, pretty like wash of eyeshadow, this is the one that I would recommend. I've been using it like crazy because you know me, I like really, really easy eyeshadow and this absolutely fits the bill. The quality is there and I just love it. I got a comment the other day that I just read that was so interesting. It was just like, Jessica, you don't talk about ColourPop a lot, which I appreciate because then when you do talk about ColourPop, I know that it's something you like really, really like. Because they do release a lot of stuff, I don't try it all because it's, it's as overwhelming to me as it may be to you because they do release so much, but this was one I was excited about and once I tried it, I was like, okay, it's actually worth the hype. It's so good. And also the like lighter shade in here is kind of, it makes me think of Max Pigment in Vanilla, where it's kind of bridal, where it gives that same sheen of like a white glow on the eyes, and I think it's so beautiful. This is one of those colors you could put all over and that's it, and then do like wing liner, and it's just such a pretty, chic look. By the way, what I'm wearing on my lips, I have every all the makeup I'm wearing listed down below, but this is the Laura Mercier Click Lipstick. I wear it all of the time. It's kind of a bright pinky red and more pink than red, but it's, I just love it so much for spring and summer. I wear it in the winter too, who am I kidding? But yeah, that's what it is. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, random favorite, but I bought, I bought another one of these because I love it so much. This is from Ulta. It is their It Brushes for Ulta. So it's It Cosmetics like collaboration with Ulta. But it's this lash comb. And then of course there's this comb too you can use in your brows. But it's this that I love. I use this every single day before I put on my mascara because I notice such a difference in the way my mascara looks when I take the time to kind of brush through my lashes. Because if you're waking up, you've been sleeping, your eyelashes get a little kerfuffled. <laughs> and I just feel like brushing through them really separates them nicely. And what I've noticed is if I didn't get all of my like liner off from the night before and I do my best, but I mean, you know, I noticed that it'll kind of clump some lashes together. So by taking the time and literally take seconds to do this, it really separates them, gets rid of like any leftover residue of liner that might be, or even mascara that might be like clumping lashes together. It's really good. So I, I now have two of them because I love it so much. It does come with a little thing. I've already lost the one for this. Um, because these do tend to break over time. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you're putting it in a bag and taking it with you, definitely keep the little plastic cover because these will break off otherwise. And be careful because you can definitely like stab your eye because these are like metal. So just saying. Oh, it is like really feeling like summer where we live and it's just incredible. It's like 80s, 90s. I finally broke out jeans. I meant jean shorts. <laughs> 
And you know what? Let's talk about them because this is a favorite. I was going to see if I had any other like makeup items. But these jean shorts, I'm wearing them right now, are from Levi. I'll have the exact ones linked below. I bought these actually on Amazon. But now that I've also fallen in love with some Levi jeans, I think if I place another order for another pair of their jeans, and I can link my favorite ones, they're, they're shaping like straight ones, they're shaping skinny, they're, they're really good and they're comfortable. Anyway, similar to this, they're like a stretchy denim. And so they feel good. These ones that I'm talking about aren't quite as short. They have a little bit more of an inseam, so I feel a little more comfortable in them. And I'm just realizing more and more, you know, Levi's, that is their whole game like denim is their job <laughs> and so i always you know i always tried jeans from all these different brands and i found ones i like but levi that's what they're good at and so i'm realizing more and more the more i try from them i'm like i should just be getting all of my jeans and jean shorts and stuff from them because they're really good at it and they fit really well so i wanted to mention these as we're getting into warmer weather at least where i live and it's nice to have shorts that you can kind of depend on, that you know you're comfortable in, that are a little stretchy, that don't squeeze you too tight anywhere, and these fit the bill. I would say go true to size. You could even size up once if you want them to be even more comfortable. I got these in my regular size, 27. I'm thinking about if I get another wash, I might go up to a 28 just to be even more comfortable. What else? Oh my gosh, okay. I get more questions about this Apple Watch band than anything. It's this one I'm wearing today. I got it on Etsy. I think I've talked about this in a past favorites video, but I figured I'd mention it, but I wanna talk about another one. This one's awesome, but I made the mistake of working out in it because I was being lazy and I didn't wanna change it. And so the metal's starting to get a little weird because I sweat in it. That's on me. I might buy a new one and not work out in it, but I can, I'll put the exact color I got as well. Cause I've gotten a lot of questions about that. Cause they sell so many different colors, but I was like, okay, I need to get one that I can use for working out, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. And I have the original one it came with, but that one, I don't like the way it feels when I sweat in it. Cause it's kind of that like silicone. So I found these on Etsy. They're not expensive and they have like 30 colors. I got this kind of I don't know, kind of taupey color with a little bit of light pink. It's got this Velcro, so you can resize it and get it as tight as you want it. Like if you're working out strenuously, like I run with it and it's nice to get it exactly how I need it to fit. But I also think it's still cute enough to wear out. So I don't feel like I have to change it. Now I'd rather be wearing this when I'm wearing like regular clothes, street clothes. It's nice that this is still cute enough that I, I like wearing it out too. It's not that big of a deal. So wanted to give this a shout out if you're in the market for something super comfy. It's got a little bit of stretch to it, but it's, I wouldn't call it stretchy. You know what I mean? But it's super comfortable and it's, Awesome, and there's so many colors, you guys. It's funny, when I was planning for this video, I was like, I don't know if I have a lot to talk about this month. And so then when I actually got around to like getting the stuff, I was like, okay, actually, I have a lot to talk about. So next thing, this Heritage Magic Spell Texturizing Spray. This stuff smells amazing. I did an Instagram reel recently, and my Instagram is at, it's Jessica Brown, Chainless Blog. But I did a quick 30 second video showing how I do like my perfect messy bun. And this is amazing for that. I'll spray it throughout my hair, and it gives my hair that kind of, grit to it, it almost, this is gonna turn you off, I know, but it almost makes it feel dirty. But that's what you want if you want a messy bun, especially if you have limp hair like I do, it really helps it to like hold so then you can get a little bit of volume and body and it'll stay in place when you're putting it into something like a messy bun. So I love this, but on top of it working well, it smells really good. So when I spray this in my hair, my hair smells amazing. So I've fallen in love with some that are like $40. I'm like, I would much rather not spend kind of money on that. So this is much more affordably priced and I just think it's awesome. Ooh, I need some water. Oh baby. If you're a Harry Potter lover like me, this shirt I got on Etsy, it, I almost didn't mention it because I'm planning an Etsy favorites video. I, I've been so excited that I've been prepping for it, but I also saw Taylor Wynn just did one and uh, I literally have it in my saved to watch later because I'm waiting for a time I can like sit like in the bubble bath and watch it. I freaking love her. But so I'll link her video below if you wanna see some other like Etsy finds that she loves. I don't know what they are yet because I haven't watched it, but anyway. But I'm definitely planning to do one very, very soon. So stay tuned. So I almost didn't mention this, but I'm like, I just have to. It's this Herbology shirt. They had a couple different colors and it's got different plants and stuff that appear in the Harry Potter books and movies and stuff. And it's just one of those things that's kind of like undercover Harry Potter. Like if you know, you know, if you don't, you just think I'm wearing a shirt about plants or gardening. And I just think that's awesome. I love it so freaking much. So I had to give that one a shout out. Oh my gosh, I'm flying through these. Okay, so this rug that we have in Genevieve's bathroom, we just got on Amazon a month ago maybe. And it is the softest 
plushest rug ever and we've even washed and dried it and it came out beautiful it's even softer than it was before and we wanted a longer one but i'm almost positive they sell this rug in all of the different bathroom rug sizes but it's so soft it's so plush it's almost to the point where like our door can't it doesn't glide over it perfectly but it's worth it because it's so comfortable to stand on and it washes well and it was not crazy expensive so if you're looking for a decent bathroom rug that's like soft just saying. It doesn't have like, it's not like a memory foam kind. I like that kind of rug too, but it's just plush with the plushness. Like I, I can't explain it. It's really good. So I highly recommend that one. So another favorite is WDW Magazine. If you're a Disney lover, oh, we subscribe. You have to pay for it. It's one you have to pay for, but it is this beautiful magazine that comes once a month. And it also makes a good gift for someone that loves Disney. Um, we gifted it to my mother-in-law because she also loves Disney. Anyway, it's beautiful. And I've been reading like an, a March one. I'm back on like the March, I almost said episode, like, what's it called? Edition. Is that what it's called? Anyway, I'm on the March one and it's all about like the history of different parts of Disney and it is so, so interesting. The photographs are beautiful and it's just, if you are a Disney World lover, you will, it'll be the best money you spent. Like it is just so interesting to read. My husband and I will read a couple articles before bed and it's just so awesome. And it just gets you in that Disney mood. I can't explain it other than that, but it's, it's, it's just so great. So I wanted to mention it. All right, so a fail, and this is kind of a mm, fail. It's from Ava NYC. I'm trying so much from this brand right now and there's so much I love. But this Main Magic shampoo and conditioner, if you have hair that tends to be a little oily, it won't work for you. It's just a little bit too hydrating. And that's why I'm saying it's not a total fail because I think if you have really, really dry hair, it might be exactly what you need. But I think for my hair type, it's just not right. Um, and actually the next shampoo I'm trying is a volumizing one from Redken. I got it on sale during the Ulta hair saving sale. I don't know what it's called, the hair beauty, beauty of hair. That can't be what it's called. And I've only used it once and I really, really liked it, but it's like night and day, totally different than this Ava NYC. So I would say if you have hair like mine that can tend to get oily quickly, I would stay away from it. But if you have dry hair, you might like it. It smelled nice and it felt good, but eh, not for me. I have been reading this one book and I don't know, it's not a crazy long book compared to what I typically read. So it's called Moon Glow. And so I, I'm about 70% of the way through the book and I, I think I'll finish it here in the next week. But it's taking me a weirdly long time and I think it's because I'm reading it very thoughtfully because two people I trust with their book recommendations said it was one of their favorite books they've ever read, ever. And so I've been trying to thoughtfully read it and so far I'm, I'm liking it. I'm curious to see where it goes and how it ends, but that's the only book I can talk about right now because I think the last book I finished was my favorite book last month that I talked about. So if you wanna hear more of my book recommendations, uh, definitely check out past favorites videos, but my husband and I are definitely planning on doing a sit down video talking about the books we've read in the last six months. We did that, well, probably six or seven months ago now, and some of you guys loved it. And so we'll definitely work on that again. We'll probably put it on his channel, which is Tyler Travels TV. Channels, but. but Moon Glow, just to kind of touch on what it's about, it's about this man who's in hospice care. He's older and he is just sharing his life story with his grandson. And it is, it kind of jumps around, but it, it's interesting. But like I said, I'm just curious where it's going. That's all. So that is everything for my favorites video. I, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to watch some more of my monthly favorites and fails videos, I do one every single month. I have for like years and it's one of my favorites to do so i have a whole playlist if you want to binge them i'll link i'll link the playlist below but i love you all so much thank you for watching all the way to the end i know i like ramble i could talk forever thank you for watching i hope you'll subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye